Hi everyone, this is Lizzie and welcome to my channel. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. For today's video, we're going to talk about aloes. Aloes has succulent leaves that are arranged in a rosette. The leaves are gray to green and sometimes have white spots on their surfaces. Some have sharp and pinkish spines along their edges. Aloes are captivating succulent that make an amazing indoor companion. They are one of the popular houseplants. Aloes is a cactus-like plant that grows in hot, dry climates and can be placed outdoor too. Nowadays, there are lots of hybrid aloes in the market and they are becoming popular and collectible items. The hybrids are formed by combining two or more aloes with cross-pollination. Don't be surprised if a hybrid aloes has the parentage of four or more aloes. With hybridization, we typically get a stronger and more resilient plant and a beautiful one too. On top of that, there are dozens of aloe species to choose from and most have juicy, triangular leaves that form starfish-like rosettes. Plus, these quirky-looking plants are great for beginners because they thrive on neglect. Here's all you need to know to grow and properly care for aloes in your garden. Like most succulents, watering aloe can be a bit tricky. They can easily rot with excessive watering and at the same time may shrivel and die when given too little water. So make sure that you are just giving your aloe enough water to keep it from drying out completely but not too much to drown it. An overwatered aloe will start to develop water-soaked spots on their leaves, making it look soggy and soft, turns mashy, and eventually dies. To discourage any problem related to watering, always water your aloe deeply until it comes out of the containers or pot drainage holes. And water it again if the soil is completely dry. Since aloes are succulent that are prone to root rot when left sitting in water for too long, it is recommended to use a drainable soil. But a cactus potty mix or a regular soil that has been amended with additional perlite or pumice stone is also a great choice for this plant. I use succulent and cacti soy mix for my aloes. It is composed of 50% lump soil and 50% pumice stone which is mungo in size. Lump soil is composed of garden soil, vermicast, carbonized rice hull, rice hull, and other organic matter. When it comes to light exposure, aloes need at least 6 to 8 hours of direct or indirect sunlight to continuously thrive. If you are planning to move your aloes from indoor to outdoors, make sure to gradually acclimate the plant over the course of 1-2 to two weeks before leaving it outside. Doing this should lessen the risk of your plant to get sunburned due to sudden change to its environment. When grown indoors, position your plant in a spot where it can get an adequate amount of light, ideally beside a window. Here in my garden, all of my aloes are outdoors. Some are placed in the garage area, but most of my hybrid aloes are located in the veranda area where there is direct sunlight and full rain showers whenever it rains. In other words, it is placed in a rain or shine area where it receives full sun from morning to afternoon. In general, aloes don't need to be fertilized, but if you want to add fertilizer as part of your care routine for this plant, you can use fertilizer that is designed specifically for succulent and apply this once a year. I use Osmocot as slow-release fertilizer for my aloes. One of the advantages of having an aloe is that they help clean the air and since they often produce offsets, propagating one is very easy. 
On top of that, doing it is a very fun and exciting thing to do. Whether you're just trying to fill out your garden or you can use it or make a gift to share to others. So that's all is on caring for aloes. I hope you learned something new from me today and enjoy the rest of the video.
so that's all for today's video guys i hope you like my sharing for today thank you for watching please do not forget to subscribe and share my video to your family friends and relatives bye for now see you on my next video bye god bless us all bye